What a job by the offense. So little time left. The drive down the field and score, that just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. So for two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. And there it is. 60 minutes has run off at long last, and this game is finally over. A blowout from the start. Well, this is another win today, and things are starting to get interesting with this undefeated streak. Boy, it really is. You know what? Any time in the NFL, once you get past six games and you're undefeated, what happens? Everybody goes, what do you think? Can they go the whole season? I don't know about that, but right now they're playing very, very well. Architects Dream, the University of Phoenix Stadium here in Glendale is the home for this matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the Arizona Cardinals. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge. When you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. Go now to the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, down on the sidelines with more on today's game. I talked with the Falcons this week. Being in first place in the conference, they refuse to let that affect their preparation. This team's going to continue to prep as if they were fighting for a spot because that was the attitude that has gotten them this far. So, guys, we'll see what happens. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. The Cardinals are ready to return to kickoff.
he'll have to accept the touchback. Lynn Lee's coming on to the field now, having found his mark last week on over 50% of his throws. Kings playing out of position in the backfield here. First and 10. Looks to his left. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. What a nice catch by the receiver. Gets past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. Floyd's lined up in the slot. First and ten. He's looking to the right. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. Taking off. He's in for the score. This satisfying defensive replay is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Smart play here, just take a knee. Browns lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Incomplete. And now we'll look at the Cardinals offense. They've shown this season they're not a team that's going to run the ball very much. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second attempt. That catch will extend the drive. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see Let's how the defense back. reacts. Brent 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 first and ten. Mendenhall's taking the handoff. They tackle him for a loss. And here's the Falcons' defensive lineup. They are the best in the league against the rush. No wonder they've been so successful. Second down now. Throws to the right, and the throw is incomplete. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Setting up screen. Caught. 36-yard gain. Did this time, it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Pass is intercepted. And Davis is going to march onto the field. He hovered right around 50% completion mark last week. Jackson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Has some space to work with. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys patch you on the rear end and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. He's wide open for the grab. 
and they tackle him there at the 34. Well, the Deacon Duck quarterbacks, they love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. Out of the shotgun formation. He'll fire it out to the left on the spot. They've got him down there. When you spy the quarterback, what it does, it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people cover the receivers down the field. First and goal. Jackson running to the left side. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. I would bet first and goal that the offense about 90% of the time is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it and they get it done. That is power of football at its best. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. He'll take a knee here, and that means the offense will start the game at the 20. Lindley will take it right from the center. First and 10, out of the eye. The give to the tailback. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Let's go. Second and nine. The ball is jarred loose. And the defense has it. He's brought down. Great job by the defense, forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there, forcing. The hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player. Atlanta in for the score. Well, you got a lead, you drive down the field, you score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. It's good. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. First down coming up. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. I think the best thing to say about that play is just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Second down, three to go. Looking to the right side and throwing. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third and nine. Set up screen. Complete. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. They're in punting formation. Fair catch signal made. It's first down as they head to the line. Steven Jackson gets it here. And he's brought to the ground. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Play action. On the run. He wants to go deep. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. 
That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. And the tackle is made at the 48-yard line. The quarterback was about to get sacked, and somehow he slipped away and completed the throw, Phil. I think now we just expect these from the quarterbacks in the NFL. We expect them to make great throws, but also we expect them to get out of trouble, and he did a nice job that time getting out of trouble and getting the completing pass down the field. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Play action. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Well, he had all day long to throw the football that time. That's why he had success throwing the football down the field. I'll tell you what, this defense, they need to start blitzing this quarterback. They go draw, and here he goes. And he's got the first down. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. Makes the reception. And that's a gain of maybe five. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Looking to scramble. Very nearly intercepted. Third down snap coming up. This was their bugaboo a week ago, failing to convert time and time again. Looking for an open receiver on the right. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Working that left side, not a wise throw there into double coverage. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. The long drive continues. Second down and 10, getting away from the pressure. Did not get both feet down. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run around like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Davis gonna take the snap from the shotgun, trying to make something happen. He's brought to a halt. The Cardinals are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Challenging the, the, the margin is increased with another touchdown. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. Makes the PAT. The Cardinals return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The scores 28 to 0. He'll take a knee in the end zone. First down here. They'll give it to the back, out of the eye. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run Let's it go. when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down and two. The give to the running back. And that's the end of the first half here in Sun City, USA. Back to the Phoenix area for the third quarter after a short break. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I got a chance to quickly speak with Ryan Lindley during halftime. Right now, his guys are trailing, but he told me he wasn't concerned at this point. He said, we haven't played our best football, but that's okay because we can still finish strong and get this win. That's it from down here, guys. We'll just have to see how things play out. Back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field.
Jaron Jackson lined up in the backfield. He has the grab. And that picks up only one. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Jackson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The quarterback hands it off on the draw. White's a receiver in the slot here on third and five. Scrambling out of the pocket. The tackle was made. Oh, there's nothing like a play action pass when the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run. The linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. From the shotgun. Incompletion of that hurry throw. Second down following that incompletion. Davis going to take it from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Credit Daryl Washington with that tackle. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. First and 10. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. They get to him just in time, one yard shy of the first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Davis is back in shotgun formation. Going to take off with it. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Nickel formation here for the defense. Third and fourth. Eyeing that left side. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down because I don't think he could have caught it. So if you can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. The Falcons with an empty backfield look here. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Gets away from the pressure. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. I don't know, Jim, if they're ever going to stop him in this game, but that's not the offense's problem. They're leading big. They drove down again and got another touchdown. They are awesome today. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. This one's not leaving the end zone. Minden Halls lined up as the single back. Now first and ten. Quarterback drops back, play action. Secures it with two hands. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Second down and four. Throwing now to his left, right where it had to be. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Let's go. Good job by the offense. First and 10. He had no time to get set. Lindley will take it right from the center. Second down and 10. That pass was hurried. Floyd's in the slot. Let's go. Man left, man left. Third and 10. The handoff. To
to Richard Mendenhall. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. Dave Zastadil is called on now for the punt. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Gets it on the handoff. Gains maybe five. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. First down here after the run. Action fake. The throw to the left. Reaches out and snatches it. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line. But sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback. And that's another completion by Second down and six. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. And Davis has got it in the gun. Sticks to his hands. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. With this play, they'll go with two tight ends. This play call is for the fullback. Good job by the defense. Their team is down. It's in the second half. And the opposing offense, what do they do? They go for it on fourth down. You are ready for Let's the go. play. You make the stop. That'll turn things around. He's looking to the right here on this throw. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that Let's defense go. guessing. First and 10 into the open flat. Reaches out and grabs it. Runs out of bounds. I think the best thing to say about that play is just it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Offense lines up here. Second and two. Off up the football. Recovery by the offense. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. It converts on the three. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. They face first down. Dropping back three. Throws to the right. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. Jackson's got it on the handoff. That play is good. 
What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows.